morning, everyone. Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. I am Farmer Min. Feeling much better today. Today it's a it's a cloudy, overcast, hazy, foggy, whatever how you want to describe it. Wednesday morning. I have been busy this morning. I did some logging, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but I got to come up here and do some cleaning of the cows. They have been absolute just messy. It's almost like they're pigs. You know, I, th I think these cows think that they're pigs and not cows. But, um, oh well. Without trying to crash my sweeper into the fence post there. But it, it's okay. That's what we're here for. That's our job. Um, I was down at the Seven Springs this morning having breakfast. What? With David. And I was telling him that I fulfilled my logging permit and was um, looking to do some more logging. He says, well, you know what? I have a little bit of a forest um, that I have. It's not much of a forest, but you are welcome to it if you so desire. So I did. Brought it up there this morning with the logging trailer and my other fence. And uh, got a load uh, filled up for the trailer. So we'll go up there here after I finish this. Um, boy, there are some messy cows. Messy cows with a mixture of grass and hay, so it's <laughs> the sweeper doesn't like to mix my uh, my stuff. And I think I've done a fine job of hitting every single fence post that I could think of here. But yeah, that's good enough. We're going to leave it like that. Cows, go ahead, be pigs again. So yeah. So that's good. We're on a drive here. I took care of the pigs this morning. I didn't um, give them any crop. They still had that. It was just cleaning and water. So that cleansing dish should go up on the cows there too. They need grass. Well, I can't do anything about grass at this time of the year. Second day of spring and I still have a bunch of snow on the ground. Yes, sir, e Bob. It is, um, it is a wintry spring, that's for sure. So we'll just park this back and then I'll show you where I'm at. There we go. Um, we open up the map here. We'll go over to the map page. Right here by the farm. Here's the farm, you know, just down the hill. Here's the Coberly Church. And then uh, David owns um, Grassfield 18 and Grassfield 17 on this side of the road. There's a little gate here. And he gave me permission to go across it right up here. To, um, this field here which is 19 a little gate here and then right in here is a forest that he that he owns so he gave me permission to go in there and um, do some logging so that's what I have been doing and then as I was sitting up there 19 boy this is a nice field I would like to own 19 um, but you know it's just not in the cards just a little too spendy. I think it's 250 some thousand, if I can't, if I remember right. But yeah, that is a little on the spendy side. So, anyways, with that said, let's see. Let me double check the animals here. I think everything's good to go. Oh well. What? How did that go down so fast? Oh no, grass. I can't do grass. Uh, power food. Hmm. You know what? I think I actually have some power food. Let's get back into the fence. Probably should have looked at that before I shut that down. Um, I think I made up some and still have some left. We can just throw that in there real quick. So all the cows are happy. Oh, now I don't see any. I thought I did. Oh, well, 3,200 liters. Better than nothing. We'll stick it in there. Um, I'll have to mix them up here later in the day. And manure. <laughs> I turned off the tractor again. Oh, cramity. Yep, I gotta get that manure pile. Look at that. That is one heaping pile of manure. I'll get that done today. But it's just this. I was waiting for the snow to melt because, um, you know, you can't really dump it over there because of the snow. So I get rid of the snow first. Yeah, it's just a pain in the butt. That is a pain in the butt. 
I'll tell you what. I'll leave this hooked up here like this. Um, park it over here. And um, I'll get that done later on this afternoon. Get some power food, get the manure, and go on from there. But that's fine. Okay, onward to my project. Let's just double check again. Yep, that's all good. Pigs, you're going to survive. I got a new pig. I got one pig. Yes, I had my first pig. Um, I won't have another one for 34 hours. But yes, look at that. I have a pig. And one sheep, too. We had one, 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 uh, what do they call a baby sheep? What does it call a baby sheep? One baby sheep born here. So I'm just going to hop the fence and walk down this hill here. I have the tractor with the logs all ready to go. Yep, outstanding. Uh, that's a good load there, I think. Should be okay. We'll go see what we get for it. The other thing I could get done today, too, is my combine that I could go pick up. You know, when I went to bed last night thinking, hey, you know what? Tomorrow is going to be pretty good. <laughs> because in all reality, um, when I go to bed at night, I wake up 10 days later. Ironic how that happens. Um, but no, the snow is still here. So I'm kind of surprised about that. Uh, but I think the snow is, starting, is going to start melting today. Maybe by the end of the day, we'll see some of the snow disappear. Which will be a good thing. I'm sick of snow. Let's go in here and drop this off. Uh, we are at 56,000. 56, 66, 76. Holy buckets, look at that. 56, 76, 20, 24, 25,000? Nice. Almost 26,000? Splendid. I like that. $81,000 in the bank now. Boy, that sawmill can transfer money into your account fast, can't they? Just instantaneous. Pretty darn nice. There's not a lot of trees up in this, you know, uh, forest that David has. Like maybe that's kind of why he was saying just go, go at her. But um, there's a couple big ones in there. So I think I had some big trees on this load. This is why maybe my, uh, my price was up a little high. Um, so I'm kind of curious now. How many trees have I cut down? 11. So there was 11 trees on there. Um, and I think there was probably about 3 or 4 big ones. So that probably helped. But yeah, you come down here into the road into Coberly here. And just after the turn there's a fence. This goes into David's Field 18 which I have permission to go through. So you cut straight across 18 here. And there's another gate up there which would go into field 19, right? Yeah, 19, the one I like. 19, and then it's just right there in the corner. So it works out pretty nice, easy access. Um, the ground is pretty darn frozen, so I'm not really gonna wreck anything. These guys, they, they lost their crop. That is just terrible. Um, I suppose I should just park probably the way I had it before. Okay, let's go around some of these stumps here. That should work. So yeah. Well, maybe there isn't much big trees left. Well, there's one there, one there. Yeah, kind of intermingled in here. Um, like I said, it's not very big. It's just kind of these trees in here. And then, um, well, I guess it does go back here a little bit farther. Well, into here. Yeah, a couple big trees in here yet. Um, and then it just eventually ends kind of right here where it goes more into the uh, brush, the thicket. So, yeah. So... Not a whole lot, but hey, it's worth something. You know, that load, 25, what do we have? 25,000 almost? Not too bad at all. I mean, I'm certainly not going to turn down 25,000. That is for sure. So, yeah. I might do a couple loads here. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, hazy, cloudy, overcast, as you want to call it. So I think I'll probably just um, 
keep going as I'm going here. I don't really have any real order. i just been kind of cutting them down as I go. Um, loading them up. Cut one or two down. Load them up. What's wrong here, Chainsaw? Why don't you like this tree? What? Okay, you'll have a big stump. I lose some of the tree then. That's not good. Unbelievable chainsaw, though, I tell ya. My uh, chain is still sharp after all those trees I cut down. Haven't had to change it yet. Outstanding. You know, I gotta tell you, I was all excited when winter was over and springtime was coming. Um, <laughs> as of right now, it just seems to be a continuation of winter, so it's still kind of depressing. I tell you, I... Yep. Even in real life, uh, for me, in my neck of the woods, it, it's still winter. Even though we are in spring, it is still winter. Buttons of snow on the ground. Got snow last night. I mean, I tell you, it, it's like it never ends. Um... But then again, in my neck of the woods, they say we only have two seasons. We have winter and road construction season, which is kind of true, I would have to say. But, yeah, no, this uh, winter in reality and both on Oakfield Farm is getting very, very old. Very, very old. I want to get to farming. But I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. we got a lot of stuff going on, a lot of, a lot of possibilities for the spring. It's going to be a busy one, that is for sure, with um, with my work on Oakfield Farm and also Oak Glen Farm and the fields. So it'll be nonstop come come spring. And then I suppose I'll be saying to myself, "Oh, I like winter. Didn't have to work so hard." But these stumps here, we just pretend they're not there. But I still am a big fan of this uh, Fent. This loader, awesome. Seems to work pretty good. Uh, I never had any more slipping, no more sliding. I can lift pretty much a lot more than I was expecting. I think I got a higher reach too, because I'm pretty sure this is the uh, 60 series and not the 30 series loader that my new Holland had. But that was still a nice tractor too, and I, I kind of missed that one as well. Um, I kind of was thinking maybe I should have held on to it. Um, I bet it would have come in handy um, later on, but um, that's okay. We can always buy, always find another one. We can always certainly do that. Well, there's two. I'll keep going for a little bit. I'll get this trailer full and we'll see how we do with that. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let's see. Which one? Any, mini, miny, mo. Catch a tree by the toe. I'll take this load in and see what we get for it. Not too bad of a load. I don't know what I have on here. 10, 11 trees. I think there's two big ones. Maybe only one big one. I can't remember now. But it's money in the bank, and I'm not going to complain about that. Not going to complain about that at all. Whoa, where am I going here? Ah! Jeez, I almost lost my trailer. Fun times in the snow, I say. Fun times in the snow. Eighty-one thousand eight eighty-six. Let's see what we end up here. 
so almost 20,000, 19,000. Yeah, boy, I tell you what, the difference between the big trees and the small trees is something else. Big, big difference. Um, hmm. Now what should we do? Wondering if I should go back and get one more Lotus. It's only 1130. And then go get my combine. I think that's not a bad idea. One more load. Yeah, one more load. Because here's what I'm thinking. Um, I gotta buy a plow. And if I go with my favorite, the Jimpa, um, probably the medium sized one, I would assume. That's 4.8 meters compared to 5.7. Yeah, 3, yeah, 4.8 meters. Maybe go with that one. 4.8, you know. 4.9. So it's about the same as the Lemkin. 240 horsepower. 225 horsepower. Well, how much horsepower does my Fent 800 have? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got plenty. I think I have a. Oh yeah, 280. So I got plenty there. So that's 30,000 for the plow. Um, I want to look at a cedar. I'm going to get um, for all my contour farming plot map or plat or uh, food plots. I'm thinking about this, the agromaz. So that's eight. I'll say 7, 800, 8,000, and then you need the um, cultivator point with it. That is 17, so 25,000 plus 30, that's 55,000 for those two things. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go do one more load of logs. It's, it's not so bad, uh, takes a little bit of time. But you know what, hey, it's only 11.30 in the afternoon. Um, we got some time, and then we'll go up and get the combine out of the snowbank. Bring that back to the farm. That guy probably wants it out of his farmer. Farmer Bob probably wants it out of his yard, being that it's sold. My responsibility. So we'll do that, and then I probably have to do some power food um, as well. So we'll get one more load on here, and we'll see you just a little bit. I'm gonna cut down one more tree. As you can see, I did make a little bit of more money. I took one little load in, um, got that hauled in, thought, you know what, I got time, I'm gonna do one. So I did a, now I'm doing a second one. This should be the last tree up there on my, on my weird looking load there. But yeah, so the money helps. I like it, I like it a lot. Oh, stop, you're kinda right in the way there. But that's all good. I don't even know if that cut. For some reason, I don't think it did. Anyways, so yeah. So we're going to get this loaded up. We'll get this up to the uh, sawmill. And then we'll go ahead and get the combine. And then I suppose, maybe that, I don't know if I'll have time. Time allows me to... Uh, Come back and take care of the cows a little bit. We'll have to see. Oh, come on. It's always one tree that causes problems. Oh, boy. That is about the worst um, job I could have done. They are not even close to being the same size. No way. I tried to get a bunch of the big, big trees on this load, and I think I got a bunch of them on there. So this one should pay off pretty good, I think. Um, yeah. Some nice looking logs on there. Hopefully that stays on there. Stay. There we go. All right. Turn that tractor up. Jeez. I'm jumping in and out like crazy there. Yeah, that's a good load. That's a good load. Strap it down. And let's see if we can make it there without sliding, sliding down the hill. We'll get this sold. And then I'll probably leave the uh, logging trailer. 
there at the sawmill and I'll just drive up to Farmer Bob's place and pick up the combine. Oh, what did I hit? Oh, no fence post there. Whoops. Surprised that thing didn't snap right off, but must be uh, must be a pretty high quality fence post, I tell you. No problem there. Yeah, this would be a good load. I'm thinking, I'm thinking close to 30 grand. I really am. I'm thinking close to 30,000. That would be great. That would leave us with 150,000. Yeah, that would be outstanding. This is a deadly corner. That is a bad corner. The other thing, the other thing that's a bad corner, up at Oakfield Farm, that corner, that back corner, coming around past the uh, the wool pallets. Boy, I hit them two times in a row. I just totally annihilated them, and I didn't get it in there fast enough. So then another pallet spawned. So I have two pallets that spawn, each with um, this is the one bundle that's not even close to being full. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I got to be careful going around that corner. That corner is not good. Oops, I didn't even see that car coming. Sorry, buddy. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, jeepers. Woofta. That was exciting stuff. I thought I lost my trailer there. Oh, heavens. I'm in a hurry. Why am I in such a hurry? I don't know. Oh, we almost made it to 150,000. 148. Uh, that's too bad. Close enough. That was a good load. Okay, let's leave that there. Um, anything else? No. Let's head up to the combine. I think for the most part, you can all guess what kind of combine I'm picking up here. Um, from what I understand is Farmer Bob had this combine harvester shipped over from uh, Germany and um, I think it was just kind of sitting there in disrepair and he kind of wanted a project so he bought this as a project I think it's a late 80s 88 89 somewhere in there and kind of fixed it up had it restored so and he used it for a while until he quit farming retired um, he was just gonna hold on to it kind of as his baby maybe do some custom combining here and there but then he decided to sell it and when I heard about it, I thought, you know what, that's not a bad idea. And I uh, thought, you know, it's a lot less expensive than the combine I had, and I could use the money out of my combine for um, land purchases, so that's what I did. And you know what, it'll be fun to use, that's for sure. So, nice combine, got a straight header with the header trailer on it, so not too shabby at all, I tell you. Looking forward to it. So I'll just pick it up to get out of his hair. He was kind of antsy to get rid of it, I guess. Um, maybe he got depressed every time he went outside and looked at it. But uh, His place is right up here, just past Timber Wolf's house. Here's Wolf's house right here. So it should be Farmer Bob lives up here on the bend, you could say. I think the snow is somewhat melting. I really do. I think we'll have less snow by tomorrow. Let's see. He said pull into the back. Um, oh, th oh, there it is. Beautiful. Let's see. Where are we going to park? The gate's closed. Um, there's the header. Header trailer. I'll just park right up here. I'll have to finally get a ride back up here to get my fent. There it is, there's the header, straight header. Nice looking, good shape. You know, like I said, he re kind of restored it a little bit. Um, got a header trailer with it. Um, yeah, a little rusty from sitting outside here, but 
That'll polish up once we run some grain through there. That's okay. There it is. The Force Fit 517. Oof. What a dandy. What a dandy. I am going to have fun in this thing. That is for sure. Nice looking. Nice looking. Yep. Feeder house here could use uh, maybe a little touch-ups. Um, kind of interesting if you look at this feeder house, how it uh, sticks out beyond the casing a little bit. You know, your other tractor, your other combines don't have that. I wonder how that works with the, uh, maybe it's just the way it is here. Yeah, it must just be the way it is. Interestingly enough, though, that's pretty cool. Well, let's fire it up. He said he was running. Um, we'll see. Take a look at the inside. Nice interior. Nice and clean. Polstery is good. Yep. Yep, very nice. Even comes with tools. Look at that. He even threw in some tools with it. Oh. That sounds like a beast. That sounds good. I like it. Oh, where am I going? I'm kind of going in the air here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was jumping on top of the car. Sorry about that car. Hopefully I didn't cause any dents or anything. Oh, there you go again. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. We'll get her we'll get her down to the farm. Yep. Not the fastest machine on the road, but you know what? It'll work. We don't you know, it's not like we're cruising. How am I how am I gonna get this thing here? That was a stupid place to park the header there, buddy. Oh, we got it. We have to use our imagination. Header staying on there. Very good. How oh, we can get out of here now? Hmm, this could be challenging. Kind of makes you wonder why you need the pole if the sign stays up there. I mean, it seems like the pole is obsolete. Ah, well, we'll leave it there in the snow. Sorry about that sign. I didn't mean it to uh, break your pole off, but uh, my bad. My bad. Okay, onward. Enough of that. Enough of that. I'll have to send uh, Upper Coberly a check for that. Uh, that sign, that's no big deal. Or maybe I can fix it. But I don't know why, why you need to pull. The sign stays up there. This is going to be a slow little jaunt here. Um, I will meet you back at my farm. And we'll get this thing put away. I got to tell you, that was a slow journey down to the farm. I got the combine here. I got it put away in this little shelter here. And then got a ride back up to get my fed tractor. Um, turn my little mag light on. The header is in there. Not the best park job in the world, but that's okay. I was just um, taking care of my pigs. Had to give them the, um, the supplies they needed. They were a little low. Let's take a look just to make sure. Well, yeah, no. I was looking at the cows. Yeah, pigs are all good. Pigs are good. Cows need water and power food. Let's see. I wonder if I could do that in the morning. Let's see. Can they be good till the morning? Oh, yeah. Halfway down. They can be good till the morning. I think I'm going to call her a call her there for today. That's a lot of work for today. Um, it's getting late. It's getting dark. I am a little tuckered. So we'll leave it there for today. Let's see. We got some logging in. We got our combine here. Um... Might end up being a little bit shorter than usual, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow is another day. We are still in this snow-covered mess. Um, hopefully tomorrow we start getting some nice temperatures. It doesn't warm up, though, too terribly much. Look at that. Not even the 62 in the last day of um, spring. So hopefully. I am, I'm, I'm needing to get some, some spring work done. I'm getting the uh, winter depression. But... It is what it is. We'll make do. We'll survive. We'll carry on. Oh, yeah, that's done. So we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Found it useful. Maybe even a little entertaining, perhaps. Um, if you did, give us a like.
we would appreciate that greatly. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that as well. But for Farmer Men on Oakfield Farm, have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches. So long.